Think what happened if you plugged in a r sine of theta, then you'd have to square it. That does not look like fun. Why don't we square it? Why don't we expand this first and then look to the replace? Now, some people are talking when I'm talking, so they didn't hear that. So I'll just kind of get right into it. We know how to expand a binomial. We practice that. Hopefully, you guys can do this in your head. y squared plus 4y plus 4. Now, we have an x squared and a y squared. But before you go crazy and look at your calculator, you realize that, oh, in your notes, x squared plus y squared is equal to? r squared. So since we're not using our calculator, I wouldn't expect to see you um, have your calculator, but trying to use your calculator, I would just expect you to be writing this down. So x squared plus y squared is um, r squared. 4 times y is going to be a 4 um, r sine of theta. And you could subtract a 4 on both sides. Now I'm kind of running out of space here. So now, that's done. No more x's and y's. To solve for r, though, I could set them equal to each other. And then divide by on r. Hmm? Yeah, divide. Because you can't take the square root of sine. Of the, well, you can, but then you have to leave the sine there, right? You can't just take the square root of one number. 